Everyone can open your eyes now. Okay. Right. You all told us that we were testing our brain today, but now I see that you're sending us off into outer space. Yeah. <laughs> today, I have a really special treat for you. My friends from the retirement house are coming back. We hung out before, we had the best time. We're going to have them arrive here and we're going to compete for who has the youngest brain. And so today will be a really interesting look to look at data from their brains on what their age is and we're going to compete, which will be a lot of fun. Last time we talked about measuring our brain and with this technology that we've built at my company, Kernel. And so Kernel has developed this revolutionary technology that makes it really simple to just put on a helmet, it measures your brain, and it tells you your brain age. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm just... so scared. <laughs> I'm afraid she's going to draw yeah. a blank. She's going to be blank in there. Nothing Still there. looking. Yeah. In there. So now we've ordered the seating arrangements according to number of years on planet Earth. Now we're going to, as a team, we're going to reorganize ourselves. And you're going to have to do this in a Game of Thrones style. Mm. Okay, so maybe I'll kick this off and say, who, who do we think should sit in the number one position over there? Who's going to have the youngest brain? Mabel. I think Retha has a very young brain. I think young. Being honest, I think I probably have one of the older brains. She doesn't have a young brain. She has a young desire for young men. A girl's got to do what a girl's yeah. got to do. Yeah. Eugene, Go to the same spot. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, do, do, do you work here? Are you with us? <laughs> Even though I'm the youngest, I still very forgetful as far as names go sometimes. I say, oh, that's her name. Then we'll come back a month later and like, what, what's her name again? What? Oh, Mabel, I think no, you're I way think. before I am. I just said you could do the splits. I was a school mascot. And in those days, the cheerleaders just went HHS. But the mascots would do cartwheels and flips and splits uh, in front of them across the field. And that was what I did. I'm happy to be over here with you, dear. Oh, my. This technology is brand new, and this algorithm just got developed. I was the first person in the whole world to have my brain age determined from this device. So today you're gonna to find out my brain age too, which is gonna be a big reveal. Now you may be wondering, is this technology for real? Yes, it is. There are scientific publications on the technology and also publications on the technology being used in other areas. Those links are in the notes below. This algorithm that predicts age is new and it's building. And in fact, in the age category of 70 to 85, we have no participants. So we don't yet expect accuracy in this age range. Our friends understand their age score accuracy will improve with more data. What will be interesting is how their brain ages compare to each other. Hey, everyone happy with their order? Yeah, let's find out. When you put this on, my, my colleague Ryan's gonna help you. He's gonna kind of shimmy this around a little bit and it works through hair because you want to get these little combs right on the scalp. We're your guinea pig. You are. That's the evil plan. <laughs> so just imagine you're putting this on your head uh, and you're doing the little shimmy, okay? So it, exactly, it's all in the hip. You think it's in the head, yeah. but it's in the hip. So the flow wiggle. There you go, <laughs> just a hip. <laughs> As I was getting my scan, this, the machine kind of puts you to sleep. And I almost nodded off a couple of times. I said, oh, there goes my scan. <laughs> okay, you guys, the results are in. How, how are you feeling? Anxious. Uh, <laughs> I just gotta be more patient with myself and not get angry, get the anger issues. And like Mabel said too, with my teams, it's like, it's just a sport. It's like, get over it. I gotta do better at that. To just stay calm, say, okay, we lost the game, just the game, or uh, okay, you made a mistake, move on. I think if I get better at that, it would help the brain, hopefully. For this to be a positive emotional experience, we're gonna start um, with the Highest number first. Highest meaning what? Um, oldest. The oldest. Yeah, I don't want to use the word oldest. Just the oh, highest. The oldest highest brain. Highest okay. brain age. Highest and so when, brain. whoever, the, whomever this person is, we want to give them encouragement. Yes. Okay. Right? There we go. Right? Yes. Like, yes. like yes. Wi wisdom. Yeah. Achievement, right? Yes. So we're going to celebrate this. Yes. So the highest number 
coming in at 56.5. Eugene. Whoa, down to 50. 56 years 56.5. Oh, that's, that's Which means we're all below 56. Yes. But yay for 56! <laughs> you get to do all our taxes. <laughs> Coming in at 54.1. Rose. That's great. That's great. Yes. Number four. Fifty-three point five. I'm afraid she's gonna draw a blank. It's gonna be blank in there. Nothing still looking in there. Bubby. Bubby. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah. Good yeah. job. All right. This is number three. 42. Whoa! What a big jump. Point eight. That's a big jump. Larry. Wow! wow. 42! 42.8. Yeah. All right. And my wife had a 36 year old's kidney, so I'm <laughs> catching up to her. 42.8. I got to write it down. Number five. 42.5. Wow. Curtis. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing or how it's doing its work. And I'm looking at these, these, these all of this. You maybe maybe if you were asleep, it would be a better score. Number one position. There's only one person left. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder who it is. <laughs> yeah. Yay! the numbers. Thirty-nine point. <laughs> Now, don't get any ideas when we're driving home. <laughs> I have the youngest brain, and I'm thrilled. You know what? I'm going to go out to my sons and to all of my friends, and I'm going to suggest to them that they do this. And I want to invite you, those of you who are watching today, to come and get a brain scan, because the more we can scan, the more accurate the information really is. Right this way. Here we go. What's that? Uh, what did my data say? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That's pretty good news. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a very preliminary result. This is something the team always has at Kernel. It's always preliminary. B's brain age is roughly 36 years old. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Pretty excited. I mean, come on. This is pretty exciting. Every single one of us is younger than we actually are. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. By, I mean, that's by years. a lot. That's yeah. 30 years. Yeah. Measuring our brain is a brand new idea. People are accustomed to measuring for tumors or cancer, but not for regular health, knowing what to do that makes your brain healthier. So if you want to know your brain age and you want to live a life that is optimized for your brain, get your brain score today at one of the locations in the links below. Hey guys, I had so much fun today hanging out with the retirement house. Every time I'm with them, I just feel a zest for life. What was cool today is to give our friends a baseline that you can measure your brain, you can get predictions. As we get more people in here, the accuracy will increase. So if you want to know your brain age, find out where the studies are going on and see if you can participate. We're on the frontier of doing something that has never been done, which is societal-wide brain scanning, which helps us understand our health and wellness in ways that we never could before. But be part of this revolution and join the journey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.